Hello and welcome to Quid Our Continue, the video games podcast that pokes a finger in the eye of the games that waste your time. I am my plant. <laughs> I'm poking a what finger. Are you? Oh, it's, it's, it's poking a finger. Poke it in your own eye. Yes. I'm not poking a finger in my own eye. Don't point it in the audience's eye because that's not very. Oh, it's, they're quite a long way away. There could be anywhere. Do you want to <laughs> point to your shirt? You might as well get this out of the way oh, now. Aha. I have more Quid Our Continue themed goods uh, tonight. My. Why are you uh, saying that, folks? You don't. What? I do. Oh, do you? <laughs> you created a range of goods without no, the rest of the group. Yeah, screw the website. Yeah, screw the personal stuff. screwed a lot of you. I've actually done a deal with uh, Primark. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, that's not official, by the way. Uh, it's got my uh, Twitter handle. It looks like you spelled scribbles wrong. Uh, the, <laughs> How many B's in scribbles? <laughs> I don't know where the joke came from, but it's not very funny. <laughs> As is, uh, Tinder joke's not funny. <laughs> Prostitute <laughs> joke's not funny. <laughs> and the fact you're a P, though. No, in fact, I'm not a pedo, <laughs> which it says on the back there. Uh, oh, dear God. Right. right. Uh, anyway, he's Andy. Hi. Mr. Jack Turner, Mr. Hello. Dave Whiteman. Hello. Every couple of weeks, as far as if united by fate, get together to discuss a video game of choice in some depth. This week, we're doing Shadow of Mordor. Middle Earth. Shadows of Mordor. Because yeah. actually, there was a game called Shadows of Mordor. But no Lord before, of the Rings. Uh, I think there attached. is, because I, I, I Googled it. and uh, that, <laughs> that almost sounds like research. <laughs> it does sound like research. Whoa. I did, uh, I Googled it, and uh, yeah, there it was. And so. yeah. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Sounds like you really did middle, a lot of research middle there. Girth, uh, middle Earth, uh, Shadows of Mordor. That's what we're doing. Not the other game. Anyway, Yeah. let's move on. Right. Yeah, let us introduce. move on. Let yes. us introduce. So this game is about a guy stabbing orcs. I'm not really sure there is a plot to it, but I can't follow the yeah, plot. Yeah, so... Most, yeah, his, his, his family were killed at the beginning. Yeah. Do yeah. they want to give a shit family killing? No. Because no. like, it's weird. The game opens. There's some orcs and, and stuff. Your wife and your son are killed in front of you, but I just did not give a toss. Yeah. Did you not think that scene was done really well? Like dark. It was really dark. I thought it was. I thought it was. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. As it would be, up. I suppose, to have your it's wife. In comparison to the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, no, I know, but you, in the you, pantheon of family killing. <laughs> right, it, it, was actually, it was done. In a, I, I thought in a. There is that funny more, one. Isn't it? it was a more mature adult way of, of doing yeah. that, as opposed to a gamey. Like you, you sort of rather than just hack and slash type. But I think when it. you, I think you have to earn that, don't you? When it, when it comes straight in with the family killing, like in, in Last of Us, it, it led you in, and when the moment when something happened, which I'm not going to say, uh, but uh, you, you felt like, oh, this is actually. There it was just like, right, I've been playing this for like two seconds. Oh, his family's dead. Oh, well. well yeah. uh, Let's move on, yeah. Maybe his family's dead. And then the trouble is, you wake up somewhere else and you're like, well, did. Yeah. But, and then, and it really, obviously, but the game is then about discovering why he's kind of. Yeah, there, he gets killed, but, but he's bound to uh, uh, an, an uh, uh, elf person. Who we. Kelly Brimbois. <laughs> which you might have called Kelly Brimbois. Kelly Brimbois. <laughs> who you might have seen in Nuts it's magazine. Something like. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Kelly Brimbois. Or in Scunthorpe. <laughs> Getting her tits it's out a... all over Mordor. He, I actually looked him up. He, well, as the game explains, anyways, but it's probably not a massive spoiler, but he crafted the rings. The rings. He but also they're not sounds... the ones they show in the games, actually. He crafted the three ones that the, the elves original. have. Um, that, aren't, that aren't linked to Sora. None of it's real, guys. This is really it doesn't it, matter. It? Let's get involved. He sounds like a Welsh cheese as well, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> a nice bit of Kelly Brimbor on me. <laughs> oh, is that your Welsh accent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly Brimbor. Ah, Kelly Brimbor. Oh, no, 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 I was anyway. totally lost with the whole story. I mean, so you're. It's because so the point is, when you get pointed further into it, the point is, is that you are. It's like almost like a detective story. You are working out. It's not. It's, it's not. not like, it's, it's not like a detective story yeah, at all. Is it's it? not. But there is like an element of finding out who it is. But All yeah. I know is at one point, so when you're in some towers, you're a ghost and then you jump onto the floor and you're a real bloke. And I walk yeah, because when you're yeah. in the towers, you are Kelly Brimbler. <laughs> but just one point, more point of the story, it's set from between The Hobbit and the first book, isn't it? That's what it's set. And it's like, yeah. he's crafted the three rings, but he hasn't crafted yet the big ring of power. The <laughs> No, he has, yeah, I think. Or, no, yeah, no, he's done that, yeah, he's done all that already. I don't know. Yeah, that, yeah. Give no, his mum three it's rings. Set, it's set just before the Lord of the Rings <laughs> must happen because Sauron's coming back and that's why the Mordor's full of orcs because Sauron's oh, coming back. So it's right. quite... It's, well, it's, I think it must be set just before the start of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Right. When Gandalf rides out at the very start after he's going to meet Frodo and then he realises yeah. that Mordor is getting evil again. I think, anyway, I could be wrong. Yeah. Write to us. Tweet us at Aqueduct Continue. Mike please, is an idiot. Please don't. Can we yeah. not get tweets from angry laws that are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think that's what... I wouldn't mind joining is, that debate, yeah. actually. That'd be is fun. there any other kind? No. Um, so, 
But I think actually, oh, go on, no, no. You got some we, comments we, to we, read we out. We could oh, come to Lord. a comment because actually this is related to the story. In. It's from uh, Michael Coates on Facebook. Coatesy! Coatesy! <laughs> Coatesy, son. Uh, he says, uh, with, um, and the gameplay was great, but I could not follow the story from about the third cutscene. I completed it, so I think I all right, things were all dead, but there was no recognition in the story that you've done anything of worth, which is kind of a bit of a problem, isn't it? And also, especially because the there's nothing you can do, because then the game starts, when, when the game ends, like, you know the film's coming, so you know what happens in the film if, if you're a fan of it, so you kind of know that there's not going to be a real end to the game, I suppose. Yeah, well, without a spoiler, but if you, get, if you get to the end and you're like, have I done anything here, or did I just walk through it, and like, no, obviously, clearly, you didn't give a crap about any of it, did yeah. you? Really? So basically, you play the game for 20 hours and achieve nothing. Yeah. Like every video game ever. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> really Mario like... gets his girlfriend back at the end. Are they going? Yeah. Are they stepping out? Yeah. Yeah, that's never I don't know actually... what Bowser wants with her, mind you. That's never cleared <laughs> up, though, is or it? Or uh, where the origins of the Bowser children is. Yeah, where did Lud- Ludwig that, and Are they Biggie Princess and... Peach's... Uh... Well, they look more like him than her, but... I don't know. That must have been painful giving birth to them, though. She's going to need a sit down. <laughs> Maybe one day Nintendo will answer these questions. Yeah, we need we need that, that rich Bowser lore to come <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah. Mrs. Bowser will suddenly yeah. come out like, yeah, oh so my a, god. A really unsettling sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wow. Wish you hadn't done that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be dear. the day that Shigeru Miyamoto finally dies. So. <laughs> Um, what well, you were going to finish off your so, comments? Yeah, yeah. So um, after also the final boss was so easy, it was a letdown. Uh, I think I think there's a lot with this game that I kind of like, but there's also a lot about it that really annoys me. And I think I like, and I think. Well, well, before we railroad off into everything we hate about this game, well, well, no, because I mean he's going to rail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should talk about some of the good things of the yeah. game before before All Jack right, the we'll, black black okay. Jack. Black, we'll, Jack uh, of Black. We'll assign gets 30 seconds to talk yeah. about the good things. And so, I, I thought the combat was good. The combat's amazing, I right? Thought the combat so, was great. Yeah. Batman Arkham City is a very good game, very good combat. And this, yeah. I think this game's better than Assassin's in terms Creed of as well. Very and it's better Assassin's than Assassin's Creed. Creed. It's oh, so it's good. Yeah. Like the move, the way, like the fluidity of the moves and the way it, like, all the, there's so many arcs on screen at one time. You yeah. liked it, didn't you? You liked it. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, I loved. Uh, yeah, come on, Ally. I loved a lot of the power ups. Let's call them power ups. Yeah, yeah and powers. they get better and better. The trouble is the game takes a long time to give you a lot of those bigger mm, powers that actually make a difference. When I started the game, I absolutely hated it. And I hated it because I basically kept dying. And so uh, I kept meeting the sort of chief orcs. Like, literally, I'd yeah. be running around and so many people would all of a sudden be these, like, chief orcs. They'd kill me and, and they'd be upgraded. And I'd be like, what the fuck's going on? I'm just getting yeah, my ass yeah, kicked. Yeah, totally. And so until I, until I started getting some, like... Um, they are, what they're not, they're not called power ups. What are they called? They're like elf powers. There's runes. Aren't they? There's, yeah, there's, yeah, like, there's yeah. a lot of different things. A, <laughs> you can power up the bloke. You can get new skills, <laughs> and, and you can get these runes on your weapons. Let's call it skills. I think, yeah. that's, that's elf than ups. Elf, um, <laughs> elf em ups. <laughs> so when I, yeah, when I started like upgrading, it then started really getting interesting, and I started mm. enjoying it a lot more. And I didn't. I found myself not giving a shit about the story at all. Anyway, no. I mean, the story is like mm. it's difficult. Well, it's not difficult to follow. It's just nothing to follow. Um, but as soon as I started like getting power, I didn't care about just sort of wandering about and going killing a few people because it was just a bit of fun just to jump in, maybe play for an hour, yeah. kill a few orcs. And, you I know. think when it, when, it, when it all comes together, I quite like the stealth stuff as well, where you can sneak around mm. and you can like shoot them with an arrow and then sneak, mm. and then you get that thing with um, what's it called, a shadow strike, where you can like brutally that, kill brilliant. them yeah, yeah, yeah. and then get to their position. It's like oh, that's really good, and I like the way you can sneak around and like you know take a few people out. The uh, branding thing's great. I mean, it happens towards the end of the game, but eventually you can start controlling the arcs as well, and you build yeah, up like, this yeah, army really effectively. Cool. Yeah, it's so good. And the, the whole thing behind it, this power struggle thing, I think really works really well. It's a really interesting mechanic, the way that, you know, different people, the way they kill you and they get promoted, then you can get to them and you can kind of move things mm. around. I thought that was a really interesting idea, and it shows that this kind of like, there's actually, it feels much more of a living, breathing world. On that sense, don't, <laughs> don't, Jack. <laughs> well, no. So I was just going to say, so that's the Nemesis system, which is like Nemesis, the big, the big yeah. selling point of this game. Isn't yeah, it's it? a ride at yeah. Old Towers as well, actually. <laughs> that's and true. I've been on it; it's very See, good. See that? I, I play a video game of just me sitting on Nemesis. Mm. 
You mean, mean on Nemesis Inferno? Scream Ride or whatever uh, it's called on uh, the internet. Uh, at Alton Towers, I was there on the day that Nemesis opened. Oh it was opened god. by two gladiators. Wow. wow. Which ones? Oh god. Uh, Saracen was one of them. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta Saracen. be Wolf. Wolf would go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it it Jet himself out to it. It wasn't Jet. Jet was the, I, remember, uh, I remember being disappointed that it wasn't Jet. Uh, Even as Hunter, he was. It was definitely a female. Colon? I was a female. Colon the Barbarian. Colon the Barbarian. I can't actually remember any of the other women in it apart from Jet because Jet was obviously She's so much hotter than the rest yeah, of them. Yeah, Lightning was alright as so. well. Uh, she had kind of scrunchy, almost like a, 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 yeah, a yeah, relaxed yeah. perm. She looked yeah, like she, she came from the perm. 80s. Actually, I think looking back now, if I were to look at a picture of Lightning, I'd think... Oh, really? Nah, yeah. <laughs> look at that, very, look at that very, hair. Yeah. very crimpy hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I digress. Uh, there are no gladiators <laughs> in this. Nemesis, right? nemesis system. Nemesis yeah, yeah. system. Yeah. So, so should, we, should we explain how it works? Yeah, it's really cool. So... Basically, all the arcs in there have their own agenda, and they're all trying to become the main arc of that area, and they all want to be like the second lieutenant to what's he called? Like the it's a bit the real like bad guy, the black, hand. the black hand. It's a bit like hand. working in an office where everyone's like crawling over each other to get promoted. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a it super is. ambitious yeah. office. <laughs> they're all doing like proposals <laughs> and like presentations. <laughs> I should be the black captain because look, I've, look at my projection figures for the last year. Instead of metaphorically stabbing you in the back, they'll just stab you in the back. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be preferable, actually. At least yeah. you can lop someone's head At least head you know off. where you are with an arc, don't you? <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't wait to lop Janine from a council's <laughs> head off. <laughs> That's like the way some of them have names like George Skullstabber and another one's just <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Graham Mildew or something well, like that. <laughs> they're all really West Country for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is that about? I didn't like, really notice that. You got like, really Wah! obsessed with the fact they're all from the... It's the ranger. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're more growly. They're just like, it's the ranger. I don't think, I don't think they're from Cornwall. I, they I, do sound like they're from Cornwall. I can never I take them seriously. Yeah. Orcs are from Cornwall. Elves are from London. I don't think orcs are there. Elves <laughs> <to take laughs> are from they? London. They're not, they're not supposed to be taken seriously. The well, they're trying to... Well, I always, I always think there's a bit of a joke on them. Really? A lot of the time. Yeah, like even, even in Lord... Very disparaging towards the orcs. I know, but even, even in Lord of the Rings... Look at the... Look at the... In the actual films of Lord of the Rings, when the orcs are like having a little fight with each other and stuff, it's all quite, it's, it's not very it's serious. It's slapstick. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. They still like smack, smack like people in the face with swords and stuff. Well, they yeah, are they also do. the slave labour of yeah, Mordor, they aren't they? Let's face yeah. it, they're probably. Yeah. And then there's the bigger ones, aren't they? The Uruks. Yeah, Uruks. They're, they're I don't the white quite ones. know what the difference between the two is. Oh, it's the way they were made. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> if you were an orc, could you date an orc? How would that work? No, I that would, could um, kill you. I think Actually, your parents would be having a bit of an issue with it at first, but I mean, I'll, you can break down those barriers, Jack. That's what's I'm, nice I'm just thinking, about. aren't they all blokes? It, they're all spawned, yeah, though. They they, there's no women. So yeah. I'm just, <laughs> they're all spawned <laughs> from, yeah. from like, yeah. like Imagine the, uh, the orc gay pride. <laughs> 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 they're all there, like, <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> So, so oh, like big smoke skull smash! You look lovely today. Yeah. Oh, wow, God. is that a gay? Yeah, I, don't yeah, know. That's I don't know what that was really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is you with you and voices today? Kelly, <laughs> Kelly Brimble. <laughs> yeah, Kelly Brimble. <laughs> Hiya, guys. She's at the front, like on the parade, with like a big gold dress on or something like that. What I, also, what I do like about it is like you got you got all these arms, and they all go, "Oh my God, it's the Ranger!" And then you run a, run away from them, and there's just these millions of them just chasing oh, yeah. after you. And we're saying, it's really Benny what we should Hill, do on the it? video. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> speed it up, put the Benny Hill sound. <laughs> I'm sure the that soundtrack's probably copyrighted, so you can't actually do it. Oh, yeah. So well, just disregard that then. Yeah. He's dead anyway, Benny Hill, isn't he? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot. That makes sense. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that is it. I mean, this comes down to open world games, doesn't it, right? You, you run through the world, and it's just annoyance after annoyance. Like, oh, I've spotted you, I'm coming after well, you. the fact you is know. you look at your map and you're like, well, there's a load of things I'm not going to do. Are we, are, we <laughs> done, are we done with the positives? Well, well no, not yet. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go on, Dave. Well, I, the I, game's I, good, I, though. I was, you're going to take I defend this as an open world game because I'm not a big fan of open world games. But I actually felt like it wasn't a huge world that you were running around in. And, like, okay, yeah, you had those things where someone would go, all of a sudden you'd walk past someone and they'd shout something and you had to then deal with that. But then... The, in terms of the missions and stuff, they're all quite close together. I quite like that. I don't feel like I've got to um, run for miles to get to the next thing. And also, it felt like there was stuff in between. Like, I don't, what? I don't what know. was in between? Well, <laughs> no, Nothing. There was stuff in between. Yeah, no, but that's it. That's, well, there's something You can flip between, from like, one to the next like, bit just by I, fast travel. I, like I don't feel like in an open world game, I've just got to like run for ages to eventually get to something. Because I'm playing. I've, I, I don't want to get onto Far Cry because we're not doing that yet. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to run for ages and then go. All oh, right. Uh, oh, finally, I've got to the mission. I want to just get there. And actually, I thought this this at least had stuff. 
it was yeah, quite close. It's, it's not it is, far yeah. to run so, around. So, yeah, yeah. so, so you can just flip to it though. It's got fast travel. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. run have to it. No, no, it's only got fast travel to the to yeah to the citadels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I found annoying by that though. I think you said it earlier. You get to the top and you're like, oh, I've got to climb all the way down this bloody tower. And just just get jump to, off you it. Jump off it. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh yeah, you can do the swan dive. I didn't, I didn't say that. Don't don't pull me into your. Uh, oh, you can do the swan dive like Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, don't you? Well, yeah, no, you just yeah, kind of yeah. just it just lands and just goes me. The yeah, towers. Yeah. That's a total off. rip off of Assassin's Creed. That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He does a like, swan like, dive. Oh, he just lands. He's he no he swan dive. No, because there's no off. there's no haystack or anything. He just jumps up and goes, "Yeah, I'm a man." Well, he's a ghost. When you get on the tower, he's a ghost. He jump off and he stops being a ghost and becomes a man. Yeah, but he doesn't swan dive into a haystack like so. He just kind of just lands and just. No, but he swan dives off the top and then lands on the floor. Yeah, but he when he swan dives, he's a ghost. When he lands, he's just a bloke. I don't give a shit. Well, no, he's like, like, <laughs> he's still a weird undead. <laughs> so though, it is. The fact he keeps coming back. But also, alive yeah, you're right. It's a total rip off of Assassin's Creed, like this whole shitty game. <laughs> but also, <laughs> it's, also not, it's, no, it's not a rip off. It's kind uh, of like a, a different interpretation of it. Jack, oh, it's Jack it. his colours to the mask. <laughs> why, <laughs> why, why are we climbing towers to find out what's a few like meters ahead? Because they're the old magical mystery oh, ones. And it the area. And there's no. It's a game. At least, at least in Assassin's Creed. That you've got to find the right path to go up a tower. In this, you just literally hold down the button and go up it, and that's it, right? There's no skill involved. Yeah, but on Assassin's Creed, you just kind of annoyingly yeah, climb up, find the surface that's got a few handy holes that the other ones don't, and then just get to the top that way. Yeah, th- there's a marginally more skill involved in Assassin's Creed, but this is just. I, why does it make you go up to the tower to unveil the map? Because there's like a just forge the at the map. top, and you get there's all the magical oh. things. Yeah, but that's you, you can get the map on the. Okay. It's from when Mordor wasn't Mordor, or before it was evil. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's like a lot of games. Again, on let's say that's a necessity of open world games. It's just well, it's they have G- to have a way. It's not GTA though, is it? It's no, GTA, you can open extra parts of the map once you've done certain missions. Yeah, so you do it? you progress and then they unlock. This, the... but this is I, I, I've still I think GTA as an argument for GTA, GTA has got open world down. It just has. I, I yeah. kind of think like in terms of things to do, there's so much to do on GTA. It's not like the same. I haven't. You do have some kind of same repetitive missions, but at least. I don't know. Like you see those like, videos on on Facebook that go off of just people like doing something stupid on GTA. That does that won't happen on on any other open world game. For GTA really. is no. like a, a game created by a team with like infinite resources and talent, so they yeah, can do. Yeah, what, but, you know, and they're not delivering a game to a deadline either. So I they, know. Well, they I give I, that a bit of a different <laughs> pedestal. Than no, you're games. right. But I, I just yeah. kind of think like open world is just it's become a thing that's like so like. It's it's there to sort of build hours into a game that doesn't need those hours. And I, I, I yeah, but I think like it can work. And in another game that we might talk about in the future term. <laughs> but it, the, the, my you thing can say about we're doing Far Cry Four next, we can say that. Yeah, that's right, fine. Well, let's not ruin it. For <laughs> <you>. <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> that's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, I think the fact is that this game, I think it gets about seventy percent right. I know you don't like it, but I think it does. I think it, I think the, the combat's good. I think the, co- the the mission flow is actually quite good. There's a few fetch quests in there, but there's always fetch quests. What what are the missions? Go to point A, kill bloke. Go to point B, kill no, bloke. No, but you got to do a little C, slightly different bloke. things. Yeah, but you kill them magnificently. In fairness to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also yeah. later on, you get you get you go into different a different part of the map and Woo. you do different bits of bits. <laughs> <laughs> God, go on then, Jack. <laughs> Five minutes, go. Okay. Go. You're right, just run right. away. Firstly, you know, I, I, you know, in my day, I've got to be honest. This might, <laughs> this might shock you. I didn't really like the game that much. Oh wow! Uh, oh, wow. No, no. Yeah, I know. Revelations, but I just. I thought it was a massive piece of shit. <laughs> go um, on then, break it down. Give us a give yeah. us a logical argument. We need examples. Because all you do is you go from point to point, killing blokes. You say you did it spectacularly, but really, do you? Do you? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe I wasn't doing it spectacularly. Maybe I was just shibbing them or something. That was it. <laughs> it's not a prison. I, just, I sort of like prison, got to yeah. a bundle. You just go around them. teabagging them. And then <laughs> oh. I wow, also, there's a teabag button. <laughs> I, just, I felt like the, the world was totally barren. There's nothing. There's That's n- true, just, yeah. It's my yeah. door. <laughs> yeah, but okay, well, 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 here, okay, well, here's a tip for you. Don't make a game about a, a world where there's nothing to do. Yeah. yeah. No, it's I like, it's like that. being... On a, stuck on a golf course and you don't like golf. That's what it's like. Wow. There's nothing else to do. Well, actually, you two even like golf. You, even when we you know that. The size, even when you like climbing up the sides of rocks and stuff, it was it was built on level. So like, you'd have the yeah the, the ground plane and then it would just be like step up yeah, that yeah. plane, step up that plane. It, it felt like kind of nice it felt like it. Second Life or something like you know the place that like people used to go and have a virtual reality life and you, everybody just ends up shagging in there basically. Sure. Yeah, virtual shagging. 
Not me, I didn't do that. Um, but it felt like that. It you felt know a lot like, about it for someone who didn't do you, it. You couldn't even get a virtual show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, please, guys. <laughs> uh, I've got a virtual bone. I'll, I'll, I'll My name's Mandy. in the corner and cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My name's Kelly Brimbor. <laughs> also, also really, I really hated the way they threw... Like, I hate it in Assassin's Creed where you're having a fight with like four or five blokes and then some, some guy a mile away will catch wind of it and go, oh, I think I'll get involved in this. <laughs> yeah, 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 he, yeah, he turns yeah, yeah. up and then suddenly you're surrounded by like 20 guys. And you're like, oh, for And they're only attacking sake. you one at a time, obviously, because it's a video game. But in this game, you, you get into a fight with like four or five orcs and then some bloke like down the road will go, oh, I'll have a bit of this. Yeah, and, then he'll, yeah. and then there'll be an introduction. And he'll, go, he'll say, I'm going to rip your fucking head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then he'll, really he'll wade in and say, okay, I'm fighting you. Then someone else will go, oh, I'm going to have a piece of you. <laughs> okay, then, you, then this guy comes in. Then someone says, oh, I'm going to turn you into a coolest bastard. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, what the hell's going on? And every time, it's like a little cutscene with some guy going, come on then. Yeah, but they're the generals. Yeah, yeah I'm Timothy you, Bog, the Bog Dog. I'll tell you what, this, this army is like overstaffed because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's serious. It's serious top issue. heavy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's top, top heavy. <laughs> so that was a, so. You, so basically, you end up fighting thirty blokes, which takes just forever. And they, they just keep on coming. Yeah, yeah, that is really annoying, actually. It's like being flash mobbed by a bunch of twats, isn't it? It's like, oh, just piss off, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah. then, you, like, on the one hand, you've got these guys, you know, in maybe a PlayStation 3 and 2 or whatever, you'd have the games where you only have two people coming up to you and you'd be like, oh, I wish no, there was I'll more. And now suddenly there's 30 of them and you're like, oh, it's well, too happy many. medium, you know, 15. Uh, yeah, so I, like never, I, never, I never felt in those situations, I was like, oh, now I've got to completely deal with this. Oh, I'm you dead. You can just run away. Yeah. run away from it. Or you can, like, start the whole mission bit again or... I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't mind any of that, and the, I, I, I did mind the, oh, I'll cut, gut you like a fish, mm. and all that stuff. Because I, I actually thought like that started to get really annoying. annoying. Like, yeah, like, it's yeah. Every, every, three of them come at once. You know? Every two seconds, some bloke are like, I'm gonna shit on your mum's grave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, guys, come on. <laughs> you'll shit on you'll get mom. your turn. <laughs> Just yeah. like form a queue, take a ticket, I'll deal with you. I'll and they, um, they they sometimes get a little cheeky hit in, don't they, when they do that? Oh. One of them will do that and you'll, it'll stop and then just some guy will just punch you in the <laughs> face. On this, on this <laughs> game, they don't do the, the Assassin's Creed thing of like waiting around politely for the next like, well, riposte. They, just, they, yeah, actually, yeah. they actually all just pile in like you'd expect. But all yes. the while, you're just going... Hitting the button. It does just become a bit of a button back. Yeah, yeah. I like the moments where you're the one who's like... Uh, doing this, it's the stealth stuff, really, actually. I think the stealth stuff's quite good because then you should feel like you're a bit more in control of the whole thing. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. But I get, yeah, when everyone piles in, I think it, it's not that it becomes overwhelming, it just becomes a bit of a, yeah, press it until I'm out of it. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Thing. we all agree. Shit game. See you next week. Thank you very much. I got to admit, there are, some, there are missions where you've got to kind of brand a load of those generals, yes, and they're yeah. really, really that fucking really irritating. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But they're hard. They're, those bits are frustratingly hard at times. They're you get a lot hard, of people. I, I like the branding thing. I thought that was really cool. As soon as mm. that came in, I was like, oh, that's, that's it, it comes into everyone. the game way to too late. Anyone. Like that bit is introduced way too late. You yeah, think that should yeah. be introduced from the from the off mm. pretty much so, but they wait around for ages. And I like the way you got tactics. I mean, like you can like let release the panther things. You know, what they, <laughs> they got, like, yeah, release the Lord panther. of the Rings panthers. It's what they called them things. Uh, Caragor or something. Caragor. Which I think is a supermarket chain in France. Um, <laughs> and actually, they also had the things like uh, if there's like meat hanging up. And if you like, yeah, 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 the yeah. beehives. Oh, I like the beehives. Yeah, the, the beehives, beehives are good. Yeah, yeah. I like those options. And you can like the caragos. I think, I, you I think can... like that stuff's really cool. And that, yeah. that, that just sort of opens the kind of like, you, it's a bit of a playground for killing orcs. Yeah. yeah. That's what the game is, really. They should have just called it that, really. They should have fessed <laughs> up a playground for killing orcs. Well, I always yeah. think, think that's how they designed the whole thing. Like, they designed all that, that stuff, and then they're like, oh, we should probably weave a bit of a story in and, and do yeah. that kind of stuff and try to get the old Welsh cheese out. A lot of the story as well was introducing things like the branding and introducing the. The how to slay certain that you know massive. I can't. Uh, yeah, the warg. Oh, no, it's, it's not warg. So there's the. Uh they are the panther things. Yeah, the car- no, car- 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 but that's even bigger thing, the two-legged thing. Oh, the growl. Growl. Do you like, do you, Bloody hell, do you you're, you're well on this. Did you have to look oh, I was playing it last night. Oh, OK. But that, that, that I, I felt like a lot of the story missions were actually just bringing in ways of playing. Like, yeah, there yeah. was even a, a mission uh, where you had to use that shadow, that shadow thing, and I thought, well, OK. This is just well, yeah, because like a lot of those skills are unlocked by those missions, aren't yeah, they? So yeah, get yeah, yeah. Conveniently enough, for that so, mission so, that so needs... That's probably part of the reason why the story was so shit, because it was just like, well... The story wasn't it's like one long that, tutorial. Yeah. There were just annoying things in it, like, um, you know when you're killing the black... Uh, what they call the captains or whatever, and, you know, you, you get one and you 
pummeling for a certain amount of time and he goes, oh, and then he runs off. You're like, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, you run after him and you get, oh, there's all chasing you. And you're like, oh, for God's sake, then you die. And then he pisses off to somewhere else. You've got to go through the whole process yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, what makes it all the more annoying is if you pummel him, then go away, his health goes back. Well, some of them have that. Some of them don't. Some of them have um, regenerating health and some don't. But that's just incredibly Because you can do... Because what I liked about it, actually, one of the other things I liked about it is you can interrogate some of the other orcs and get oh, yeah, some yeah. information about those mm. guys and then you can realise that, oh, you can beat him just by stabbing him in the back or you can... Yeah, I mean, I killed one of them. Just some of them like, are really annoying. Yeah. yeah. That, that was good, but I didn't use it enough. Like, I did, like so it would then it's give It's hard the to option. do, though, because it's always hard to get an individual orc. Because of the way they, they all pile in, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I found like as soon as I'd, I could choose to unlock a certain like person's information, I'd unlock it and go, oh, "Where the fuck is he then?" <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do like a way. Yeah, there's like, you can go to that character screen but, where they're all like in a chessboard. A lot and then of the time, find... I was like, I just I don't give that much of a shit. Like, unless I was, I, I think I, I don't think I was into the game enough to do all that kind of stuff. And I think if I was into the game more, I think all that stuff would have been brilliant. Uh, I still like the game. Uh, but I, I like it. I, I still well, you're, you're wrong, but fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I liked, I liked it as a kind of like just, just sort of jump in and play for like an hour or two. I, I think, it's, I yeah, I think it really like, works like that. And I didn't feel like, yeah. I didn't feel like I needed yeah. to do the story a lot of the time. I was just sort of pissing about in it, and I think it was good fun. Well, I think, I, I, think it, it, I think it's one of the better Lord of the Rings games I've played. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I think this is the first Lord of the Rings game I've played. <laughs> oh, there's been a few on yeah. PS2 in there. there was, I, I like Lego I liked, Lord of the yeah, Rings, I liked, I liked the, um, uh, the, the Two right. Towers one on PS2. There was the one, yeah, was that the one where you could have like three players or something yeah, on there? Yeah, like, yeah. It was a bit like oh, Golden yeah. Axe. You'd go around hacking yeah. at things. Oh, I, I do, I do, oh, I when game. I was playing this game, I did wonder if it was, because I didn't, I didn't like it. Just, uh, <laughs> you didn't like it, you loved it. Maybe I'm being too subtle about it. But yeah, I didn't enjoy it. But I also I don't really care for for Lord of the Rings, so maybe that's got something mm. to do with it. Also, I don't know. It was I think Peter Jackson watched our first podcast. So. <laughs> Did watch it? Yeah, I don't think, yeah. I don't he's the only man who lives in New Zealand. It was very Lord of the Ringsy, though, was it? It wasn't like oh. I know I know it was. Wait, but, wait. <laughs> but like in terms of, in terms of Lord of the Rings, there was nothing familiar with the characters. It was only like orcs. Well, Gollum turns up. I'm just like, oh, yeah. not you again. Uh, I like yeah. the bit where they, when you when you first load it up and it like starts talking to you about your control. Yeah, that's quite weird. That's quite cool. Yeah. Yes. Gollum. One point. Come on. Gollum, Gollum's <laughs> let's vote now. Let's vote now. <laughs> Gollum's really irritating. He's like the Jar Jar Binks of the universe. He's just such, he's such oh, a oh, not, oh, he's oh, not compare oh, Gollum to Jar Jar Binks. Oh, he's he's such a dick. Uh, we're, put, we're putting that on the website. <laughs> the the Jar Jar Binks. I'll tell you what it is. When I was, like, I will. Let's remember that. I'll write that down. I've always, <laughs> in my, this down. is probably a fault of mine, which I'm willing to accept now. But in my head, I've always seen that universe as being. I'm about to piss off the whole internet. Luckily, no, luckily no one watches this. Like, right. um, I've always seen that world as being quite... Don't say no one watches it. <laughs> All right. And his girlfriend watches it. <sighs> and um, Mr. Coates. And Mr. Mr. Coates. Co- Coatesy. Coatesy watches it. Coatesy. <laughs> and, um, so I like to call him Quartez. <laughs> Quartez. But when I, I remember when I was at uh, primary school, our teacher read us The Hobbit. So in my head, I've always thought that's a kid's book. So I've always associated that world with like being... Well, it like, is a kid's book. Case closed. Bam! Yeah, it's a yeah. good kid's what, what's book. What's wrong with a kid's book? book? Well, nothing, but I'm just saying, I can't take the world seriously. What was happening to you in that classroom? Well, we were oh, sitting around, sitting around. Jack, just, you're just, so bitter. For some reason, though, I think this game, for me, well, I would say it wasn't like a Lord of the Rings game. It just, it didn't, it didn't have that kind of, the world itself, like, it was... It was a bit nothingy. It didn't. Look, I, yeah. Actually, I, I can, I'll yeah. go, I'll I've go, been saying that. Oh dear! Well, I'll stop go, talking, Dave. I'll go to the Far Cry thing. No, but it's, I'm the losing. The Far Cry thing looked stunning. Like the, yeah. the, the beautiful the, game. The, the, the really beautiful game. game. <laughs> it does. But, look, the character but, models look great, though. Character yeah, models yeah, look good. Yeah, yeah. But I just think the world itself. Oh yeah, that, that, that really one cheap. orc they've replicated a million times looks fucking brilliant. Well done, guys. Guy in a loincloth. Right. Before we get, we've got a new section coming up, folks. It's going to be ace. New section. I don't know what it's called yet. Jacks. It's called Jack section. Jack's. Jack's, Jack's little thing. This is called Jack's bitterness. Jack's <laughs> I'm, just, um, I'm just channeling with little Jack. Like little Jack's corner. That's, little Jack's corner. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but before we do that, I want to ask everyone here two things, and it's not to vote yet. Um, okay. But it is. This game's been up there on most of the other gaming websites around as being like the best game of 2014, which even I find a bit sad that that's the case because it shows that 2014 actually didn't deliver that many no. great games. I think, yeah. that, I think that's yeah. what it is, and we were talking about earlier. Yeah. I think 2014, there were so few AAA games that were really great that this piece of crap got <laughs> weaseled its way in <laughs> and somehow got a war. Oh dear. 
Like, I, do, I do think that's the case. Actually. I was called yeah. a piece of crap, but like, I'll say, yeah. ouch for monolith. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a bit kind of like, oh, it, it, I think people were just so desperate to try out their new consoles, exactly, something yeah. they enjoyed, and, yeah. like, and they just didn't have it. People and spent so since this came out. People spent four hundred quid on hardware. There's fuck all to play, <laughs> and so th- this, yeah. yeah. So but it's always fun. the case in the early. Tranche of games, isn't it? There's usually one that's all right, one that's big. I mean, it was like Killzone Shadow 4, wasn't there? Was one of them that didn't really do anything. It's a good game, though. Yeah, I, I still have I to play that actually. It, yeah. um, it's quite open uh, world. Another you're game gonna... that we might <laughs> talk about at another point. But anyway, like, uh, I think I think you're right. I think last year was not a vintage by anybody's like stretch of the imagination. What were the big games? Like, you had Drive Club, which was a disappointment. Yeah, 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 that bomb. There was Destiny, which Destiny, came yeah. Unity, Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, that was a terrible nightmare. mess. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, Far Cry 4. There was like uh, Shovel Knight and Shadow stuff 4. like that. Came yeah, out I mean, I think last year the, the indie stuff was was brilliant. It was really cool, but the, for the AAA I stuff, still, I still think the indie stuff is going to be hammering this year. I, well. I, I play more indie stuff than. Yeah, yeah but there's some yeah. big titles coming this year. Batman. Uh, uh, yeah, well, this year not got... Uncharted Four. Um, you, uh, yeah. That is a big question. What will be delayed? Because a lot of that stuff you're probably about to list will probably get shifted into 2016. Uh, uh, will be left with another. I can't three. imagine Batman's going to get shifted. No, 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 no in Batman Janu- well. in June, isn't it? But Batman won't. But things like Tomb Raider, it's already happened to Uncharted. I think uh, I think Tomb Raider will stay because they've got an advantage now that. They're on one platform as well. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but they're not in competition against. No, I was about, about to say that they'll take away from Uncharted sales, which they won't because it's not even on the same platform. So, yeah, I don't know. The other question yeah. I wanted to ask you guys, and maybe Jack shouldn't contribute to this one, but if there was, if there was a sequel, do you think there should be a sequel to Shadow of no. Mordor? Or, or, or no? no, no. I think the sequel is called Lord no. of the Rings. <laughs> You've already made no, it. No, but you know what? If you, this has been a, this has been, been quite a, a good selling game. You can almost predict that'll be it, Shadow of Mordor two of some yeah, description. It'll but, be the same game. I, can, but then, I cannot imagine. Look at Assassin's really. Creed. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, but I don't. I don't agree with. I don't understand how Assassin's Creed is getting redone so often, and people are still buying it because I think oh, it, is, it is the same game. They might put one new feature and reskin the whole thing. I but, think. Uh, I think like Assassin's Creed is a really good example because the first game, when it came out, I enjoyed the first game, but it, there was nothing to like. There was like two mission types in the whole game it was really repetitive then 2 came out and it just sort of really took off from where 1 left off and it's actually mm. really yeah. really and 2 was good wasn't it it was that, really that, content that rich it was great. so who knows but then the rest of it kind of stagnated like, I feel like Assassin's yeah, Creed 3 was the lowest point mm. it was very boring in the snow and it just felt really cold and dry they, anyway. they can't, they can't take it to a new location though with this, this shadow model take it to the moon they could go on the moon. Oh, it's on the moon. I mean, they, they've I'm obviously... On the goddamn moon. Is this like... Is this... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that new blood suit. Uh, old blood suit's coming out, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I can't wait for that, actually. Yeah. Go on, Jeff. Yeah. Is this story canon? Like, is this part of the universe? I don't think so. No, because it's already yeah. changed what is canon. Fine, so well, they, they can just make up any old shit, then, can't they, really? <laughs> Kelly Brimbor returns. <laughs> <laughs> but, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, right. um, I, I think... I, do you know what? I think I would play another one of these... Um, I'm not going to say what um, my verdict is yet, but I think if you... I would personally have done this in a slightly more kind of Arkham Asylum way where it's got the feel of open world, but it's much more of a corridor journey because I think, actually, the, the, the world felt empty a mm. lot of the time and it didn't benefit from being free unlocked it felt empty it felt kind of and, it, and actually I was like I don't really need to have all this space I'm just running through a field with a load of guys going stop him stop him let's take him it's the ranger and I'm like <laughs> fuck off leave me alone do you think it needed a crafting system <laughs> oh, oh, the thing is, though, nothing needs a crafting right. system yeah that's it at least it didn't have that yeah. like, and actually I, I still think that the um, skills and all that kind of stuff they, that was really good yeah, yeah the upgrades was, felt actually like that's actually not Because by the yeah, end, you are it. a badass in the game. Yeah. Yeah. And once you've that, got all the stuff unlocked, you're absolutely like rock hard. That's exactly it. And actually, that was one of the things I liked about. Um, I don't know if you guys played Infamous Second Son. I, I, I love yeah. all that stuff because yeah. you, you, when you upgraded, it felt like you were properly upgraded. By the end of that, it's nuts, isn't it? You're just like <laughs> yeah. just rolling around. Like, have you done like when you get to the very end and you get the boulder, the rock skill, or whatever? Oh, you yeah, just yeah, roll yeah. around and whatever the hell you want. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. And it's like by the end of by, by a, like a certain point of that game, you can just fly around the whole like it's a massive mm. city, and you can just fly through it. It's so, so, it's so powerful that, in that. That feels like a, another one of those games, like open world game, that I feel like I can just piss about in and do. I mean, yeah. that even more so. That is like a beautiful yeah. kind of sandbox. So you can do whatever you want in that. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah. with something like Pro. It's very repetitive as well, as well though. It suffers oh. from all those same issues. Oh but. yeah, yeah. You anyway. know, I think, I think when you look at like prototype, is the same really. I think, I think there's there's a lot. On the cutting edge uh, prototype. <laughs> 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 what year is this? You, <laughs> sir. What year is this? 
Prototype 2 was not that long. 2006. <laughs> God almighty. Hey guys, newsflash, uh, Obama's just been voted in. <laughs> well done, Derek. That's only going to go well. <laughs> well done. Well, Things are going to change now. sad to lose George. All right, Jack, are we going to do oh. our new section? Oh, well, yeah. Come on, it's, oh, I built it up a bit too much, yeah, but it's going to be fun. So basically, what I've done is I've trawled the internet, and the things I've found have appalled me. <laughs> uh, but also, I've um, I've checked out, because we like to know what people's opinions are on these games, don't we? So we've got, we've had a, Co Coaxing's got involved. Oh, yeah, so we, we actually we'll have, we actually have one more. Involved. Yep, let's get another we comment. We have one more comment from, um, yeah. from a genuine... Should we have done a comments hour? Hour. Hour. Something. Blimey. This is ambitious. Sure. It's ambitious. <laughs> So what else um, we got? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me use the magic of Twitter to discover it. Anyway, do carry on with this. The, is uh, from. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing it. All right. Uh, at Kanaguna. Uh, it says in Mordor, how often did you actually use all the special powers when fighting? I butter mashed a lot. Yeah, a lot to remember. <laughs> Yes. Actually, saying very much. He says, uh, in the same vein, did anyone actually pin an orc's foot down with an arrow? Oh, I didn't. I, I, didn't well, I never did that. I, I unlocked the skill, but I never yeah. did it. No, I never did that. But I did actually use a lot of the skills. I think I. I, I think I. But the thing is, I did that thing like um, when you play games like Mortal Kombat, where you're just like, right, let's go look at the special moves. I'll be using that now, and then just like and, and do that. To, to this yeah, very so. day, like I know the move to rip someone's head off as Sub Zero. Wow, it's yeah, this ingrained, uh, like 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 you know Ryu Hadouken or something. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I think like uh, you I did, could get I, any job in the country with that sort of. Uh, yes, uh, I did like the the upgrades. I thought it was really good. You know, you could pick different ones and choose different things, like the, the stealthy ones, and there was a good mix and stuff like that, but. No, no. I, I looked at the pin of the foot down. I thought, no, I'd rather just lop his head off. Yeah, no, because it is quite I, hard. I, as well I always to do, do that. that in terms of when I'm picking what skill to unlock. I always think, oh, I'm not, I already know I'm not going to use that. You know what, the arrows? Mm. Oh, just like the that, skills. Yeah, the, mm. Well, that, that particular one, I, was, I, I just, I did know there were certain things. Uh, the, the, the shadow strike, I wasn't sure if that was. There's the a knife. I never did the throwing daggers either. Never did I just kept no, it. That, that sounded really it. like weak and boring. Yeah. yeah. I bet there's someone going. That's how you're supposed to play the game. But <laughs> like, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, screw uh, that. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I did use them a fair bit, I think. Yeah. Go on, let's have some comments. Go on, okay. like, right, go on introduce our uh, amazing new section. Yeah, yeah. So uh, these have been handpicked by Jack, so they're all going to be negative. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> these are all negative reviews <laughs> from users on the popular website Metacritic. I've never heard of it. Oh, I've never heard of it. Wow. I reckon it could be big. It could well <laughs> be <coughs> so, yeah. for all games development. Of course, game scoring is just... Pointless, isn't it? All you need to do is, is it worth, is it a quit or a continue? Quit or continue. So, well, yeah. Who needs numbers? Yeah. Who yeah. needs numbers? I agree. I agree. Surely people can watch this and make their own minds up. Someone I don't need to know that something is 86.5% good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, come on then, Jacques Okay, Magique. this is from Derringer. Um, Derringer. Um, yeah, posted December the 27th. John Derringer. So, uh, the... Yes, John Derringer. All right, He's wow. written in. <laughs> uh, so let's surmise that he bought. He said December twenty seventh. He probably got it for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. So this is like <laughs> literally two days. Exactly. <laughs> 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 he's sitting. He's on his laptop. He's got a mince pie. On him. <laughs> he's <in> his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he's surrounded by his family, and he's thought, "I'm gonna write a negative review on this." <laughs> <laughs> his he mum and dad have bought it for him. Exactly. Like, yeah. It wasn't that good was enough. I hate you so much, mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> he says this is a copy of Assassin's Creed, and it's not. Lord of the Rings anymore. Truth. Wow, truth. truth. It's not an open world game when the only thing available to do is killing orcs and all the environments around you look the same. It's just rock, dust and orcs and rock and dust you and orcs. You wrote this. this. You wrote this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, you know, the people have spoken. Derringer. Does it say Owen oh, Jack is right at the end? Yes, yeah, Jack is right. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. I like the. Um, <laughs> here's, another, here's another disparaging <laughs> comment. This is by Avirius. Okay. I think, I think he might have some issues. He says, the game is like so many other pretty things. It looks nice, but that's the only good thing you can say. I don't even think, it, I don't think it looks nice. <laughs> wow. No, it's not. I actually saw it in 4K at um, uh, let's see, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it did look nice in 4K, but then I suppose mm. that different would. Yeah. In uh, 4K TV. I bet it looks. It probably looks better on the PC than it does on PS4, even mm. though they're very close these days. Can you uh, read a positive one, please, Jack? Uh, I don't, did you even I get any positive, positive ones? Oh, I thought actually there weren't any positive ones. Why did we let <laughs> oh, yeah. you do it? <laughs> yeah, 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 also, I think this game's been really badly received. This is, a, this is a weird comment. He also goes on to say, this, this game is so complicated to play that I just eject the disc after 10 minutes or so and put it away for another month, hoping it will improve with age. Like a wine. 
complicated to play. I'm always doing. I've got like a cellar of games. I'm hoping it'll yeah. just get yeah, better yeah. over time. It's, it's like it's like a. You've got to wonder what he then goes and plays. That's not complicated. Yeah. If you just there on like Tetris or something, I can do the blocks. I can do the blocks. Blocks fall. Put blocks in spaces. Okay, this one's got a long one. I'll, oh, this is by... Uh, oh, God. Para- paraphrase. This is by Daphnis26. There's a bit okay. of background. Right. I loved The Lord of the Rings as a teen. Nice. I read the books over and over and over again. Right. Back then, the internet barely existed. Did it? And I certainly didn't have access to it, so I'd sift through bookstores and libraries, hunting down every scrap of information I could find on Middle Earth. I'd secretly tear out pages when no one's looking and bring them home... It was him! Bring them home to my archive. Oh my good God. <laughs> Whoa. I've already right. informed the police. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Brimbor's right. like yeah, yeah, yeah. quaking at the moment. Kelly Brimbor's <laughs> in his dungeon. It's that house without curtains with you today <laughs> covering the windows. Yours um, sincerely, Harold Shipman. Daphnis. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually from my hometown, interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Mm. 26 continues. Shadow of Mordor is as impressive and hollow as a Hollywood movie. Ooh. Which, that's, that's a broad range of movies. Yeah, There's a that, lot that's of quite a lot, movies. actually. The home of cinema. The, 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 the silver screen. Yeah. As soon as I step into the game, I'm informed that I must kill spiders. Why? Why should I kill spiders? Because they're evil question, and you're in Mordor. Why? I, I, have, I haven't been convinced to kill them, and I don't want to. But the UI informs me I must, so I kill a few spiders. Mission complete! Now the UI updates and tells me to kill flying creatures. Why should I? <laughs> I don't really care, and I don't want to. So to, to explain this, so basically there's little tiny sub-objectives in it, which is just like kill a couple of things and, and eat some plants. You don't have to do them, though. You don't, you don't have, have to, to do, do this. Yeah. You the want to tell Daphnis 26 this? He, so then, uh, blah, blah. The UI pops up to inform me I must find and kill a slave orc. I immediately begin scouring the horizon, excitedly plotting my kill. Then a dull UI prompt pops up to inform me the orc is located in the next mission. The next mission? It feels like the programmers are speaking directly to me now. Why not use language from the law, such as find him within the gates of Gareth Gordor? Oh my god. Because <laughs> <laughs> not everyone. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't need to be answered. Can you stop reading this person? No. <laughs> I'm going to finish off. I'm going to give Daphne 26 the platform they deserve. <laughs> On my way, I encounter a band of orcs perusing an escaping... Per- perusing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> perusing an escaped slave. I don't know what... I don't know. <laughs> There's right. an escaped slave. I'm <laughs> worth pursuing. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not pursuing my... Pursuing it's, my... It's I, it's not a French I, of ours. Can I request you do the, the big yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I hide and watch. <laughs> like, okay. 20 seconds later, the slave escapes and the orcs stop their pursuit. One exclaims, Oh, well, must have been rats. <laughs> So I run in and kill one, and climb up a tower to escape from the others. 20 seconds later, oh well, must have been rats. <laughs> I descend and kill the rest. Then more orcs spawn and begin to chase me, so I ascend once again to my safe place. Oh well, I guess it was nothing. That is true, but then that's a complaint of every single game like this ever, that the, the guards forget about you. Yeah. But then if they all had permanent memories, it'd be also <laughs> really annoying. So. But, but <laughs> like, to be fair, Davis Dor, what David da- Dor, twenty six. David Dor, show some 20, respect. David Dor, Kelly Brimble. It's a game. It's not real. It's not real. So. But this guy's got an archive of pages yeah. from library books. It's he's got an archive out. of so women's he hair <laughs> that he's smelt over the years. Oh, oh it's pubes. <laughs> oh, pubes. <laughs> Basically, he didn't really like it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm, it's, it's, I'm it's saying a, him, but yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's I, ironic because the game actually, was made uh, for him. I just assumed that was a girl, actually. I don't know why. Maybe anyway, that, it sounds like Daphne. Probably. Daphne's. 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 I don't know. Anyway. Have you got no positive ones? I didn't, print, I didn't bother with the positive ones. Oh, oh, yeah. What is it you've well, actually I, I got highlighted? Actually, that's, that's it's the, the point in comments about. hour if we're only going to have negative ones. Oh, all right, I'll read the positive one. Yes. This game was good and I enjoyed it because I am brain dead. Thank you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It did, get, it did get a surprising amount of praise. It did, right? yeah, uh, yeah. It's still being lauded today, didn't it? Win uh, a BAFTA. Uh, uh, the other BAFTA. Week. Lauded. Lauded. The that I didn't even mean oh, to do that. God. That's a sorry, intelligent and clever. It's got a GDC Game of the Year. Yeah, it's it it won a BAFTA. It won things, like, yeah. Best Game of the Year at the BAFTAs, didn't it? And then, the but then Baftas. Destiny won. Like no, the, the best guess, overall the thing. Or something. Won, like, uh, yeah, the, the best. Which game. is nuts because Destiny is like it's bollocks. It's good online, like it's fun if you're into grinding and all that shit. But <laughs> oh, we're into grinding. <laughs> oh, we're all into grinding. A bit of that old grinding. Sounds like my kind of game. It's uh, no, it's but my, in terms my of grinder. Hell divers came out at like a. Not even a, a third fraction of the, of the cost. Yeah, and you think, how do I was, that's done. You and your hell divers. Why don't you just what? marry it if you love it so much? I tried. I tried. There's not an oil pass <laughs> yeah. here, but I'm pushing it through. Yeah. No, no, the, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's fucking good. 
And the, it's basically doing what Destiny is was trying to do, but shit like Destiny. But Destiny kind of does do that, but then he's got all this crap plot yeah, built into it, fun. and it's the plot doesn't make it. any sense. Destiny's just like an endurance test. It's not a, it's not uh, like a fun game to play. Do you know what else isn't fun? Uh, oh, let me think. <laughs> middle, middle, middle girth. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> that was said in the silent, Mr. Slave. <laughs> Um, I've got nothing else for you. Um, we should probably... <laughs> <laughs> I, ma- I made some notes. I've exhausted my notes. So I think this game... Are we doing, are we doing the round? I think we should do yeah. conclusions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and I'm going to start. So shut up. Right. I think this game is a continue. Ooh. What? Oh. And do you know what? I think it's a good game. I think, I think it's got some frustrations. I think if you play it the right way, I think it wants to be... It needs to be played the right way. You need to build your powers up. You need to be quite patient with it. I think it's it is a kind of duck in and duck out. But you you do have to kind of put a bit of effort in. You can't just it sounds always. Like, it sounds like a, it sounds like a dig at me, Dave. What do you <laughs> I think it's having a go. It's not Granny's Garden. Probably <laughs> 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 is Granny's Garden. <laughs> So I think I think there is a lot there. I think it is incredibly frustrating uh, at times. I think I think the open world is pretty limp. I think it looks pretty empty. I think uh, it doesn't necessarily. There's too much space and there's quite a lot of annoying fetch quests. But overall, there's enough here for you to have a good time if you <laughs> good time if you buy it. Uh, and uh, so it's a continue. Cool. Shall I go next? Are yeah. We're doing it in this order. Why not? Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. It's a continue. Oh, it's a continue for me. Jesus Christ! It, it's not as good as everyone's banging on about, but it is still better than most games that were released yeah. last year and for it the last is. couple of years. Um, and I'll say why because it's deep. I really like the fact that your the arcs uh, like have their own little personalities, and you can kind of work out the order to kill them. And there's a bit of strategy built into it that way. I also I didn't actually say what my idea for like a sequel of the game should be, but it'd be cool if they ex- <laughs> expanded. It's always not it. <laughs> I'm not pitching for now. I'm just going to keep this one very short. But like, they, maybe they could expand it because I agree. Mordor is uh, Mordor is very very boring yeah, and, and, and sparse and empty. But maybe they could expand it to the grasslands and the rest of. Well, or they could build like some kind of like uh, well, entertainment make, park there make, or something. They can make the world interesting. Look at Lord of the Rings, the actual film. It's stunning. Yeah, right? but they yeah. set in this game is particularly set in Mordor, and Mordor's not. Like got yeah, yeah, it's not got yeah, swings yeah. and stuff. It's it? you know, New Zealand, but we, they could very popular. In they New could Zealand. expand it to be in New Zealand and have all that greenery and you know make it a lot more uh, enticing and have like the I'd bits, love it if it was the woodlands with the elves. <laughs> anyway. Maybe some orcs with like Somerset accents that really mix things up. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but what I would say is like, it's a continue for me. There is a lot of stuff they could still do with it, and it didn't. You know, it's not the greatest. It's not the best game I've ever no. played, but it's got a lot it's going for good. it. And it's I would say. If you can get it, you know, for, you know, we always kind of say this, but if you can get it at a reasonable, like, 20 quid or something, <laughs> Five pick it up. Pounds. Yeah, yeah. Five pounds! If you can get it for a fiver, yeah. I've got a copy you can buy if anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is email uh, QRC yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah. at yeah. QRC yeah. Jack. Things that QRC Jack has burned. Uh, I, I liked it, I thought it was good. <laughs> 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 no, it's, uh, I think you've all lost your minds. I just, I really can't comprehend what, what you saw in this game? The combat's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's better than the Batman combat. The like, Batman combat's awesome. The thing is, I've got a feeling. Oh, it's like, not better than the Batman I, combat. I, 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 I prefer it. No, I'm not having that. For like, I haven't played it f- to to get it done in a short period of time, which I think you you probably have played it in in a kind of more intense way. Whereas I've just kind of dipped in for a, an hour or two, and then come back out and play something different. And I think maybe that's that. That certainly had a bit of different effect on me. Yeah. Because, so you're you're saying you can have too much of a good thing? Is that uh, what you're no, it's not. It's not so much too much of a good thing. But I, th- I can see if you play it for for too long, it would get extremely dull. Well, what a ringing indictment that is of uh, how great this game is. <laughs> well, no, because, I think, I think, I think it's a good game to own then. Because in that case, like, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. like the idea that you've got to sit at a game for 30 hours to get through a story. I, 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 like, I like the idea yeah. that I can just put, stick it in. Oh, yeah, here we go. And there's just like, like a random thing happens. You can trigger that. So there's like a little, like, you know, the, you don't have to be involved in the plot to have something exciting and fun to do because it just kind of yeah. generates itself for you. Yeah. Anyway, go on. It's like, oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, basically, well, the thing is, I know that it, this idiot's going to bloody say it's okay. So it's going to be a continue, <laughs> which is an outrage. But I think a 3 1 is still quite controversial. Cause it's like, is every, it? Every, oh, every, yeah. yeah. 75% of people enjoyed this game. Everyone's giving this game like 90 90% out of so I'm the lone, I'm the lone voice. Well, we're giving it essentially 75. Yeah, <laughs> I can do maths. maths good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the world's it's an open world game, and I think I think there is a reliance on games being open world these days when they don't need to be. I think developers should be more confident and just have 
linear games because that's you know that's why is this game open world? There's fuck all to do in the world. Yeah, that is a real. So, that is a real so point, just make actually. it. Linear, yeah. make it like just levels do, or chapters. Do this chapter, go on to the next one. I don't need to run through a bloody barren environment picking up flowers, you know? That's <laughs> I, just... bet, I bet it's so much more work, though, isn't it, for develop? I'm just not excusing it, but it, like, I, I compare it with Uncharted, which is obviously... But look at, look at the, scene, the scenery you get in Uncharted and the level design in Uncharted. And that's got to be so much more work mm. than, than what they've done in so Shadow of Mordor. You're saying they're lazy, basically. I am, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying open world games are, are, are relatively lazy. Unless you do the GTA, yeah, like yeah. ultra yeah, detail. Where, which yeah. is actually just like, there's so much detail in GTA. Yeah, yeah I, I kind of think, I, I do, I completely agree with that. Uh, I found the combat really dull. Uh, I can't. It's just, it's, yeah. just, it's just button mashing. That's all it's it not the, uh, once you get used to it, I, I was not button mashing. And I was responding. You the and, and, like, uh, I felt, I I felt the empowered bow. by it. I really like the bow. The boat's yeah, really both good. Great, yeah. Because then you're in the thick of it, and they're, all the arcs are swinging in with their knives, and I felt like, okay, I'm going to dodge that, I'm going to weave around there, I'm going to jump yeah. over him. I wasn't button mashing, I was actually strategic. Jack was just frantically teabagging. <laughs> <laughs> teabag, teabag. I, I, teabag. Did, I didn't get out the first tower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the arcs are like, this guy's a massive perv. Yeah. <laughs> there John, goes maybe, the ranger, cover your game against the wall. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the battery was dead than my controller, maybe. Um, and the missions were really repetitive and dull. Yeah. Uh, Gollum's a dick. I don't ever want to have to <laughs> experience him in anything ever again. Jar Jar Binks of the universe. Um, and what else can I say? Uh, I'd call this game Shadow of Bordor. <laughs> and I'm out! <laughs> I, re I really thought that you... I thought at least one of you would be on my side. I can't believe you I'm all 15. sat at home and you played this shitty game and thought, oh, this is really good, I'm really enjoying this. I'm not like, wasting my life at all. I was about 30 hours into it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I was, I was Just running this. around from people. I took this game, yeah. I, I this game <laughs> off. I took this game off to play Quake 4, a game that's 10 years old. And I had more fun with that than this piece of shit. Quake 4 exists. It exists. It still exists. The, the, all the copies didn't spend I, 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 found, I do know what you're saying. Do you mean but Quake was? There's, there's more good cool. stuff. There's, There's more launch, good stuff. Launch title for 360. Was it? Uh, 2005. Anyway, who gives a shit? I uh, do, because I played it. It's good. Let's talk about Quake 4. <laughs> no, let's not talk about Quake 4. <laughs> anyway, Interesting Dave. story. Quake, yes. Quake could be... Sorry, Dave. Uh, Quake, Quake might be open and announced. So it could be a machine... Like, like, there's rumours, anyway, that machine games might be working on a... There's theories the that Quake. might be working on a new Quake. I'll play that. Uh, anyway, go on, Dave. Uh, yeah, Shadows of uh, Quake. It is a, is a continue. Uh, but I do kind of agree with a lot of stuff you're saying, but to me... Well, why the hell are you saying <laughs> it's because, because it's not... Because there's more good stuff than... Yeah, bad that's stuff. It. That stuff isn't. isn't what what were the things you liked? Though. Okay, I did. I did like the the combat. I thought it was great fun. And yeah. actually, I, I didn't feel like I had. Like I said before, I didn't. I didn't feel like I had to do anything. I could just sort of play it for a while, but not cover any missions. I could just piss about and like kill a few orcs in a kind of inventive way that I wanted to do. But well, that was all there was to do. No, but you could do the missions too. Do the missions too, and like. Yeah, yeah, but, the, yeah, but the mission is just like, kill another orc. And, uh, uh, kill a bigger orc. But I'll agree, there's, there's still, there's not an awful lot. There's, there's kill one of them makes orc. you ride something. There isn't, there isn't an awful lot to do. The world is pretty bland. Um, yeah, you tell I'm sold. Continue. No, but uh, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to sell it, but I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed yeah. the game. So I, I, I think... I think, think you're right, there are, the, the world is pretty empty, and it, there is a certain repetitiveness in it, but I think there's more... The good stuff is really good. It's worth yeah, playing. that's it. I think I, again. I, I don't. I I'm don't sorry, Jack, like, but you are outvoted. I don't yeah. feel like I have to go through the whole thing. Like, okay, uh, yeah, a, a more linear story. I, I would prefer. I always prefer linear stuff than um, than open world anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of feel. I don't feel like I've got to complete it. I just feel like I could, you know, play it for like an hour. I go home, play it for an hour, and I've, you know, I've enjoyed that hour. I think what's also good about this open world, against like Ubisoft open worlds, is you didn't have like thousand things all calling you at once. Yeah, because like, there's fuck all to do. There is, no, there is still. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, let's wrap up. We're never going to convince him, guys. Right. So a score of three to one. Shadow of Mordor is. A continue. This yeah. is our Nazi continue. Germany stuff. You can join us next uh, ne a couple of weeks' time when we will be discussing. <laughs> we will be discussing Far Cry 4 in this Ooh. same level of depth. Um, until next That's time, cool. I am Mike Flan at Mike Flan GC. You are Andy Lachlan. Hang on, uh, let me let me count the bees. I can't quite see it from here. Me media scribbleless. <laughs> Jack Turner is at QRC Jack yeah. and. At TLD Dave. I always forget that, this sorry. At TLD Dave. <laughs> yeah. I should have picked a catchier one. The light divided. The light divided the light Dave. The light divided Dave. All right, until next time, continue. Quit. <laughs>